All right, party people, you're back with the DJ with that technical swag. Cracking open the Motorola Zoom Wi-Fi. This is the Omni-ROM 4.4.2. We can check that out in the settings right here just to make sure what I'm running. But I believe this is uh, Omni-ROM 4.4.2. Yeah, uh, homemade wing ray version. Uh, Let's look at the stupid little spinning K. Um, yeah, so, so, whatever. But anyways, um, okay, basically this is part two of my review. Um, the reason why I'm doing this review is to give you more in depth of what I do and maybe for the gamers out there if they want to know how gaming is on this. Um, usually how I test out gaming on these devices is I run a PSP emulator. You can get it on Google Play. It's called PPSSPP. I love it. It's totally, totally changed changed gaming on 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 uh my devices i mean you know put everything on my sd card you know and i'm good to go you know i have an sd i have like a 32 gigabyte sd card with these games on them you know i pretty much uh test them as i get them the ones that i'm interested in i mean there's a lot of stupid dorky games i mean it's not really for me you know um but hey you know to each is their own you know so uh basically um when I run this emulator on a device, it lets me know how powerful that device is. I had the GS4, which ran games pretty smooth. You know, um, the GS4 actually fell from a distance, from like my knee cap to the floor. And the, the glass didn't break, but the LCD inside the phone broke. So I couldn't use the phone anymore. I couldn't see the screen, of course. You know, so I had to, re I had to get a used Galaxy Note 2, which was the best choice I ever made in a phone ever because it outperforms the GS4 by far. Far. I don't care what anybody says about new and old. Who cares? I don't care. The device outperforms the GS4. Period. Um, another back. Another thing to know about PPSSPP. Um, most devices will smoothly run just about any Bandai Namco game. So um, I'm not gonna go for a high intense graphic game right now. I'm gonna go for you know, Dragon Ball Z, that's that's normally my first test. You know, if you can run Dragon Ball Z in uh, non-buffered rendering mode, then you're good to go. And I'll explain further when we get into it. Starting up right now, also I wanted to say I have my uh, wireless controller going through my um, OTG cable. You know, so uh, I can use my controller with it. It's already hooked up. I don't know why the thing flashes. I remember when I first got the Zoom and, and when these devices started pumping out first, like years ago, it wouldn't do that. It would just initiate that one corner light for the to initiate the uh, first controller. But hey, who cares? So let's get into it. Dragon Ball Z Budokai 2, Another World, I think, or Another Road, something like that. Who cares? I play it. It's pretty awesome. Let's go into arcade mode. Keep it easy. All right, right now this is this is a uh, buffered rendering. That's why it's looking kind of pixely and stuff like that. But let's get right into it. Yeah. Now, if if this if this processor GPU is really doing its thing, you can run it in non-buffered rendering. Non-buffered rendering kind of gives it that smooth look, but we'll show you how how it runs in that mode. You can already see it's a lot smoother looking, but the game is choppy as hell. It's like playing in slow motion, you know. And who wants to do that? 
Okay, so that's the test for for the Dragon Ball Z. I, I, I'm not even gonna, I'm not even gonna go into. Um, I'm not even gonna go into. A, I don't even want to go into another game. But let's try this Soul Calibur. It's also a Bandai Namco game. Let's see. I just got this like last night. So let's see how this is running. Also, just another back, more background on the tablet and how it's running with this ROM. I have no problems with the video camera, uh, front and back. Um, also, uh, storage cards. I can put storage cards into a hub. It runs pretty well. Um, you know, uh, all the apps are running pretty good. Like I said, it's pretty swift. I'm, I'm having no issues with it. I mean, it's totally better than the stock ROM that they had. And I've had about five over-the-air updates, as I said in my previous um, review. Soul Calibur. This is the Soul Calibur that features uh, Kratos from God of War. Let's check it out. Quick match. The sounds are already choppy as hell. You know that's it's really not a not a big issue though. Um, just to let you know, you can customize controls on the PP SSPP for your Xbox joystick, and uh, you can make like the directional pad work if you really wanted to. I don't really care for it right now. I don't really need it. Oh, so we're choppy as hell right now. Sound is really choppy. Let's expedite this process, pressing start. I'm not even gonna attempt to go into any action. I'm gonna back out. I'm gonna go into settings. I'm gonna take it to buffered rendering and show you how that runs. And even still, it's choppy. Okay, without further ado, we're going to back out of this. Exit. I want to get into another game that's kind of a little more demanding. Let's let's do the uh, Grand Theft Auto Vice City. I wonder what happens if I use my mouse. Logitech mouse plugged into the uh, zoom. You can see the cursor. I don't know. Yeah, you can see the cursor. It's working pretty swift to me. Let's go do that. Zoom. good so far let's see if they loaded any cars <laughs> here comes one right now I hate these cars uh, let's get the scooter I'd rather rock with the scooter oh wait the FBI joint is right right behind me let's take the fed car the Miami Vice joint You see, it's it's running. It's running pretty decent. I'm reckless, but who cares? It's gonna show you how how it's running.
looks good the camera keeps up with it pretty well you know um i mean that's pretty much it that's all i can say um six guns does run on here but i hate that game so much it's it's such a cluster you know what um like i said nine millimeter won't run for some reason and it's the paid version you know it shouldn't be any problem um as far as anything else goes oh yeah let's 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 go into uh did i put fruity loops on here let's see Fruity Loops, Fruity Studio Mobile. Yeah, this is running pretty well. Try not to make this review so long because I don't really want to edit, but I probably will just to be nice. I'd probably use a mouse with this because, you know, I'm used to producing with a mouse. Um, yeah, everything's everything's running pretty well, you know. I've I played with it a little bit. I like it, you know what I mean. So let's see tracks. All right, let's check this out. Yeah, I developed this pattern yesterday or whatever. So basically, um, everything else runs great. Chrome. YouTube, um, I have no problems with it. It does what it does. You know, I normally hook a mouse up, a wireless keyboard, plug that HDMI into my TV, and it's like a little computer on my TV, man. It's like my little Google TV. So that's what it is. Thanks for watching. You know, thumbs up, subscribe. Don't really care. Whatever. Live your life. Have fun. Stop being negative. Be good to people. You know what it is. Technical Swag DJ signing out. Peace. Oh.